Good morning, students. In the last class, we discussed about temperature, and today we will be studying the effect of temperature and pressure in the change of state of matter. Now, let us study. We, when we talk about the states of matter, we all know that it is solid, liquid, and gas. And today we will be studying the change in these states of matter. That is how solid is converted into liquid, and liquid is converted into gas. Vice versa also takes place. That is how gas is converted into liquid, and liquid gets converted into solid. So now let us study the two ways in which we can change the physical state of matter. First is by changing the pressure, and the second one is by changing temperature. So let us discuss it one by one. So the first one is by changing the pressure, we can change the state of matter. First case is that by increasing pressure, how can we change the state of matter? Now let us study when we, when we increase the pressure, gas gets converted into liquid, and liquid gets converted into solid. Now how does this happens? Let us see here. Basically, when we talk about the change in the state of matter, we mean to say about the interparticle space of a particular space of a particular state of matter. Now, when we talk about gaseous state of matter, the interparticle space is large in comparison to that of liquid, and liquid is having more in comparison to that of solid. So, now let us see what happens in the case of gas by increasing the pressure. supposedly you are having a piston here in this particular vessel and you increase the pressure by pulling the piston down and then the area will be reduced and the number of the particles will remain same so we can say that in a small area those many particles the same number of particles has to be adjusted so definitely when they will come in a small area they will be more close to each other giving it a form of liquid state similarly it happens with the liquid also when you compress the liquid compressing means increasing the pressure in a particular area when you increase the pressure by compressing it it gives a small area to these many particles so the particles will become more close to each other either we can also say they will be closely packed to each other giving it a form of solid so definitely by increasing the pressure we can say that gas gets converted into liquid and liquid gets converted into solid the opposite of it also takes place that is by decreasing the pressure when we decrease pressure solid gets converted into liquid and liquid gets converted into gaseous state of matter here also we can see Uh, you can see a diagram here where i have made the particles of solid now when you decrease the pressure or you can say you pull the piston up here in this particular case and give this particular vessel more area when more area is given to these many particles they will occupy more space and they will be apart from each other so they will not be so closely packed as in the case of solid they will become the the state of matter will become the liquid as in the case here you can see that the particles are little apart from each other and when you in decrease the pressure more further it will take the shape of take the form of gaseous state and you can consider the example of liquefied petroleum gas that is lpg also in that also you would have seen that in the cylinder when the uh, fuel is kept it is in the state of liquid when you in, uh, in uh, release the pressure when you decrease the pressure by opening the knob of the cylinder you can see that it gets converted into gaseous state so liquid gets converted into gaseous state by decreasing the pressure and all others can be studied with the same example so now let us take the second second way in which we can change the physical state of matter that is by change in the temperature here also we have two different conditions the first one is by increasing the temperature and the second one is by decreasing the temperature so let us deal one by one by increasing temperature we all know we can take example of ice also ice when it is kept at normal room temperature which is in solid state it gets converted into liquid state and when water is boiled that means it the temperature is increased or on heating it gets converted into steam or gas so solid gets converted into liquid liquid gets converted into solid by increasing the 
temperature and opposite of it that is by decreasing temperature gas gets converted into liquid and liquid gets converted into solid here also we can say that by increasing or decreasing the temperature we are changing the distance between the particles of a particular state and thus we are changing its state note students very important point that when we talk about increasing pressure it is always accompanied by lowering of the temperature and vice versa is also applied here that is when we decrease the pressure it is always accompanied by increase in the temperature these things are always there that means if i want to say that i have increased the temperature here i mean to say that with increasing temperature i have decreased the reduced the pressure and when decreasing of the temperature is taking place i have increased the pressure this always takes place together now related to the change in the temperature we have some important methods to change the state of matter in that the first method is melting which is conversion of solid to liquid state of matter and this can be done on heating we all know that solid can be converted into liquid by heating example ice can be melted into liquid when it is taken out from deep freezer and kept at normal room temperature that is given heat so it gets converted into liquid state now the next point is boiling or vaporization students we will be dealing with these two points later on in detail these two are exactly not equal to each other but still when we talk about the conversion of liquid to gas these two methods can be applied that is liquid gets converted into gas by either boiling or vaporization and that is done with heating when he when you heat any liquid it gets converted into gaseous state take example of water when you heat water it gets converted into water vapor now the third point is students that is condensation this condensation is conversion of gas to liquid and that is when you cool it or when you decrease the temperature condensation process takes place now let us talk about the fourth process that is freezing freezing takes place that is this method is conversion of liquid state of matter to solid state of matter by cooling and the last method in this in conversion of state of matter is sublimation here solid gets directly converted into gaseous state on heating and gas directly gets converted into solid state on cooling you can say that here when we talk about the process of sublimation the solid is not getting converted into liquid state but it is directly getting converted into gaseous state similarly gas is also getting converted into solid state directly without getting converted into liquid state here you can take the example of camphor or naphthalene balls you would have seen that when you keep naphthalene balls at uh, you uh, anywhere in open you see that it disappears after some time because naphthalene balls gets converted frequently into naphthalene vapors without getting converted into liquid state and thus it directly disappears similar is the case with camphor also students you would have seen that camphor when kept at in open at normal room temperature it starts vaporizing and getting converted into gaseous state so you can say that sublimation is a process where solid directly gets converted into gas or gas directly gets converted into solid without getting converted into liquid state so these are the five methods which you have to study with this Yeah, I'll be ending this uh, topic today, and I'll be attaching the assignments along with. Thank you, students.